Hi there, and thank you so much for clicking on my video today. Um, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rabbit, and my pronouns are they, them. And um, I just wanted to film this little kind of intro because originally this video was going to be like a super long video, and then it was going to be like two hours, and my computer couldn't handle that, and a whole stuff. So um, it's two-parter now. It's a two-parter now. Um, so I will link part one um, up in here or something. And yeah. This is just like a little vlog, this is just like a lot of cats and gardening and I go on a canoe ride with my boyfriend and um, talk about some life update stuff at the end so if you're interested in that uh, please keep watching and otherwise thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> hey guys, so it's another day, um, it's actually the next day since I last filmed, oh, I like stuff all over my face um so basically um i oh good they're both here um after i came down today i just felt really bad for these guys not having like a proper water dish or proper like food bowls like they just kind of eat out of like old containers and stuff and like that's fine like they they're used to that their whole life but i decided to just bring them a couple of fun little things you can hear angie down here, oh, Miss Baby. Um, so today I just came down to drop off um, their new bowls, their new toys, um, and I'm just gonna like sit outside and like watch some YouTube videos and have an Angel in my lap because she's just such a sucky girl, such a sweet ham of a lady, and I just really wanna get some quality time with her because I think it means a lot to her and it means a lot to me and she's, she's a beautiful girl and here she is with her son. And I'm just so happy to see them. Oh my god! How are you so cute? Can you guys hear her purring? Mm -hmm. Beautiful! I love these guys. I'm so lucky to be here and uh, yeah. I, I didn't think I'd do like a part two day filming, uh, but if I find anything else I decide to film today, I guess you'll you'll see it after this this clip. So um, I brought these guys a couple of little presents. Um, so here's Angel first, just enjoying some chin scratches. But I also got them. I got these both at my work. Um, they're catnip and honeysuckle pouches. They're super lovely. Tuna at home loves them, and maybe these guys will like them too. I got them too, so they can both have one. Um, if they're interested and it seems like Bravehearts at least kind of curious not all cats have um, catnip receptors but some do oh and these have both honeysuckle and catnip in them so <laughs> um, sometimes even if um, your pet doesn't have receptors for honeysuckle they might have some for catnip or vice versa <laughs> and it looks like Bravehearts really enjoying his Oh, that's so cute. Honestly, this cat right here it looks like Braveheart, so it's kind of funny that that Angel got this one and he got just the gray one. Happy boy, huh? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Angel's playing with hers too! Why are you guys the cutest babies in the world? Oh! I'll bring you guys more toys next time, okay? Sorry, I was gonna like show you guys all this stuff, but I just got distracted by how cute these sweet bobbies are. I love that they love catnip. I remember one time I brought them some just loose catnip and neither of them really seemed to react, so I thought it was like hopeless, but I guess they really like catnip toys. Mmm, sweetest eggs. Okay, so the first thing we got them was this. Hello. Oh my goodness. Purr, purr, purr. <laughs> Put 
perfect boy. Perfect man. Do you hear this? And so then the other things we got for this week, guys, is I got I brought them some um, cat it creamy treats, uh, the salmon version. These ones um, I think are really good because Angel has like kind of sensitive teeth, I think. So I think she prefers um, kind of these wet treats over like dry, crunchy treats when I brought them. And then in here, this is one of Tuna's favorite treats. So I'll we'll see if either of these guys, so I'll see if either of these guys are interested in it but it's cat grass. It's essentially a really fast growing grass that um, pets and I think cats and dogs can eat it. Um, Tuna freaking loves it. It's like one of her favorite treats. Um, this and like catnip and like kind of more greeny things are more her style. Um, so I brought it for these guys to see if they like it and if they don't, then I can just bring it back and Tuna can have a little more. What do you think, Angie? <laughs> One of my favorite things about cat grass is how fast it grows, how easy it is to grow. We'll see if, if she tries any. <laughs> beautiful man! Look at his tummy. You're a beautiful tummy boy. He's like such a Garfield. It's the best. And then for pet bowls, I got this one for Braveheart. It says meow on it, and I think it's super cool. It's like a nice ceramic one. Um, he likes bowls with like a little bit of a higher um, kind of lip, so that's why I got him this one. Angel usually likes to eat on like a flat plate kind of thing, um, but I thought that a bowl would like even, so she likes to eat on a flat plate kind of thing so it doesn't touch her whiskers. So I got her like a really, really wide bowl um, so she can still eat her food, but then if she pushes it around, it like doesn't fall out of the plate. And the bottom's rubber so it won't get pushed around as much so it'll be easier for her. And then I just got them this really nice big stainless steel water bowl because their water bowl was looking a little crusty. And we're gonna give them some fresh food and lots of cuddles <laughs> and lots of playtime with the um with the catnip all right so now that their dishes are nice and clean it's time for their food and i'm sure they're both very excited i'll feed them another can before i leave they get this plus their dry food and angel gets her cbd and braveheart feels a little left out if he doesn't get any so she gets 20 grams and then he just gets a couple drops and I think it's salmon flavored so they both like it and it just helps for her arthritis and stuff it's this one um, my mom got it I really love Angel and I'm so happy that she gets like wet food now um, but Angel used to live at the bed and breakfast for a while there because when my parents sold it, the cats were living there and one of the conditions for buying the place was to take care of the cats and they just did not take very good care. My mom was constantly having to go down there and like making sure they had food and stuff. Um, but now she has them here and they have like the little kitty door to go inside and they have their food and they have all their little like cardboard boxes and little baskets outside to sit in and Angel just sits on my mom's lap every morning while my mom has her breakfast outside or does her meditations and I'm just so happy that they're like not living in the barn anymore and they have just like a nice nice place to stay. Braveheart is way more into his new little toy pouch than he is his food bowl or his food. Hi huh, buddy? He's rolling all around on it. <laughs> Let's not dip you in there. So here's the new water bowl. Goodbye. Goodbye, old dishes. We won't need you anymore. These guys are going into the recycling after I clean them a little bit better. And my mom told me that they both quite like being brushed. Um, so we'll give them a good little brushing while we're here.
Sophie loves her boxes. My favorite is when she just like opens her mouth but no sound comes out. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's like tons of sparrows around and they live in all the little sparrow houses my parents put up around. There's also like nests up in the crevices and stuff. It'd be cool if one flew out, um, but they're so neat. <laughs> so my mom really has a thing for like heart shapes and heart motifs and stuff. And coming up, there's like this tree where um, uh, my mom put my aunt's ashes here um, and there's all these hearts hanging from the branches that were from like a fallen tree that was like kind of had a curve in it. So then all the slices were heart shaped. And down here, there's a little statue inside this little stump. And it's like a very nice peaceful place to sit. There's also these like hanging chimes and um, this is a charm that my dad made for my mom <laughs> over the greenhouse for Christmas. He made her all these little wooden charms like this. I wonder if I can find more of them around. Oh yeah, I see them. Um, basically of stuff that they wanted to do together. Um, here's one of them gardening, <laughs> it looks like. And um, one of them going on the road trip in their uh, little van that they just <laughs> kind of fixed up and it's super cool. It's all like eco solar powered and like collaged inside and um, that's where they are now which is why I'm taking care of the place a little bit. This looks like Burning Man or some festival um, that they probably want to head to. Ugh, my parents are so cute you guys. Like I seriously can't get over it. I'm so lucky. Here's like a picture. Um, it looks like my dad painting. Oh, one fell. It's them canoeing. Just, you can live here. Kind of nestled in the branches for now. And, um, tiny house. <laughs> and this looks like them biking. So, super cute. Oh, there's another bell. Really pretty, delicate sound. It's just like a magical little spot that I thought would be fun to show y'all. Um, and yeah, just like wilderness and like bird chirps. It's really cool. Um, some other places that my mom has hung hearts is up here in this window. My dad built the house so it's pretty funky. It's cool on the outside but the inside is pretty neat too. My parents are both like pretty creative. Uh, these are the hearts so I'll show you guys a bit of inside later. Maybe that would be cool. I don't know. Um, my mom hangs a lot of prayer flags on the outside and my dad did that moon carving up there. Uh, my dad also made this pizza oven. They decorated it with kind of a mosaic look with mountains. My parents are Italian. They always wanted a pizza oven. They made this I think in 2018 and it's super cool. Uh, basically all the wood burns down there and you put the pizza in there and it's really nice. Uh, they also put a heart in the center which I think is awesome. Hey guys, it's me, Rabbit. Um, it's my third day 
of filming going down to my parents house last time I got kind of cut off because I had this like very intense phone call um, but I will probably be going that into going into that in a future video it's just like a lot of stuff going on right now um but i'm really excited um for today's like mini little vlog of just me i'm wearing my new favorite shirt it's not mine it's my boyfriend's but it says soil wizard it's from sin eater and it has this like really awesome mole that has the most tune energy on the planet like this is this is Miss Tuna Baluna. Anyway, um, I'm super excited to head down there. Um, I'm gonna go start with getting some pastries um, and then I'm gonna go drop off some stuff at the thrift store because my boyfriend and I are moving at the end of August. Yes, at the end of August. Um, and so we're clearing out a lot of stuff out of our house. So I'm gonna drop off that at the thrift store. I'm gonna get my pastries before this place closes and we're gonna be off to my parents' house. I'm super excited. I also brought some cherries to snack on um, when I'm hanging out with Angel and Braveheart and just like doing my thing. Um, see you guys soon. I'll spare you the thrift store, but I'll show you what I get at the vegan pastry place. Okay, bye. Okay, you guys, I'm like super excited. An hour to go and I got so much good stuff. I got the two croissants because I've been literally thinking about them since I last got them. More pigs and blankets. And this time, this is a tres leche. Um, cake i guess i don't know i'm so excited cage asked me to get him a cinnamon bun but they were sold out so i got him this instead and um i'm excited to try it as well oh this is so delightful i really freaking can't wait i'm totally gonna eat some of these bad boys at my parents house oh yes so i'm here again with the sweet sweet children and i just washed these cherries that i'm really excited to eat i'm just gonna hang out maybe watch some youtube videos while i'm here See if Angie and Braveheart want to watch them with me. She has such pretty colors in her fur, like all the shades of browns, and I love like Braveheart's little stripes. Little tiger man. Sunshine boy. He reminds me of my neighbor's cat that I got to babysit while she was out of town. His name's Clancy and he's massive and I think he's like 21 years old and he's a big orange boy and he has the deepest meow in the world and <laughs> him and Braveheart look a little similar. They're both super cuties. Her other cat was named Peta, and she was like a brown tabby, kind of like Angel, but she was also like a really chunky brown tabby. And they just reminded me so much of Braveheart and Angel, it was wonderful to get to hang out with them. Especially Peta, because she was obsessed with like honeysuckle. Um, and it was just the cutest thing to see her go to town. I'll like insert a little video <laughs> if I remember. Okay, you guys. Okay, my mom also asked me to water this like kind of thing of mulch and she said there were mushrooms in it and I've been watering it and it's been literally like nothing for like the past week that I've been down here and suddenly I opened it today. Look at this. This is so wild. There's so many. Oh my gosh, how exciting. And there's like little ones springing up all over. So cool. Ah, oh, she's gonna be so stoked. I'm really happy for her. Ooh, mushroom. I'm super excited because I'm walking over to my mom's like little tomato spot and the tomatoes are super beautiful and red and I can't wait to pick them. Oh my god, you guys, check them out. There's so many gorgeous ready ones. Oh my gosh. I can't believe like last time I was here they were all just like this and today, oh, beautiful, incredible. I love plants. I love my mom's gardening. She's She's so cool, this is the best, yay! Okay, now it's time to get some mint um, so I can make mint tea for me and Cage when I get home. Super excited, it's just this guy. Thank you, plant. I appreciate you. And I'm excited to make delicious tea from your delicious leaves. Oh, look at this beautiful bunch. I wish you guys could smell it. It's so lovely and fragrant. 
And in with the tomatoes it goes. And now to the garden. Okay. So first, let's get some carrots. I have a bunch of lettuce still left over from last time. Um, Cause I don't eat that many salads as we have discussed, but I do love putting carrots in stir fries. Oh my goodness, look at that glorious carrot. And it's nice to be here because my mom has a really lovely little scrubber guy in the kitchen that's very handy for, oh my gosh, please carrots, I beg you. Ooh, it's a nice one. Um, my mom has a really nice little scrubby vegetable scrubber thing in the kitchen that I will use because at home I don't have one and scrubbing carrots with your hands is a lot harder than using a little brush guy. Okay. Ooh, nice and round. And I was looking at the peas and there's a ton of them that are starting, um, especially on the other side of the fence. Um, so I can just pick them from the opposite side and it'll be really, really great. Ooh, that one looks ready and big. Ooh, nice and clean. What are your guys' favorite vegetables and do you guys grow any vegetables or plants or anything? I usually had like a bunch of cactuses in university, but I brought them all down to live in my and my boyfriend's apartment and it's so dark and a lot of them like got overwatered and kind of are dying now and it's super sad. Um, mm. That's a solid carrot. And this one I didn't show you guys last time, but there's these tiny, very kind of sour um, berries. I forget what they're called, but they're very much like sour candy and they're one of Cage's favorites. So I'll make sure to grab him um, multiple for when I get home. It's my day off today, which is weird because normally I work on Saturdays, but today I work on um, tomorrow and the next day, but not on Saturday, uh, so Sunday and Monday, which is unusual for me because normally I have Mondays off because that's when Cage has his day off and we like to spend our day offs together. Um, but it's okay. We still like live together, so we spend a lot of time <laughs> together regardless. Man, there's not as many berries as there were last time when I came down here. Let's check on the strawberries. Oh, beautiful. Look at this thing. Precious, good job strawberry plant. And look at the beautiful flowers. I thought their flowers were always white, but I guess sometimes they're pink. So let's grab a strawberry and these little blueberry kind of looking things into the basket. And maybe I'll go and check just around the little wild strawberry patches and see if I can find any tiny berries to snack on because those are like my favorite of all time. Ooh. Should we check on the broccolis? Whoa, the broccolis are doing really good. Okay, let's let's see about getting some out. Look at these adorable little broccoli florets. They will be so yummy in a stir fry tonight. Oh my God, how exciting. Oh no, there's like a butterfly trapped in here. Ah, there you go, be free. <laughs> there's so many beautiful butterflies every time I come down here. Butterflies, dragonflies. Sometimes there were crickets, but I feel like a lot of them got eaten by the heron and the frogs, and then frogs got eaten by the heron, so it's kind of just sparrows that you hear now and like little birds. All right, uh, let's pick some brock. And here is the broccoli hole. So cute, so delicious. Broccoli is seriously one of my favorite vegetables of all time. Thank you, broccoli plant. I appreciate you. And just, ugh, I know I mentioned it last time, but look at these Brussels sprouts. They're just gorgeous. I can't believe it. Look at how huge the zucchini got. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. The other zucchini plant is like blooming. Look at these beautiful flowers. Holy cow. I'm so excited to check the other side. I'll show you guys all the zucchinis that I pick. Look at the tomatoes. They're getting so big. The basil looks happy. Ooh, I see some big cute or, um, zucchinis on this side too. Wow, it's just like an explosion of life at this time of year. Holy, I love it. And yeah, my dad built this greenhouse. He's like super proud of it. I think it's really cool. Um, it has like these flaps on the side you can open and close. It's, it's, a, it's a cool thing. Got some absolutely beautiful zucchinis. Like look at this color. Ooh, wow, I'm excited about this. The peas are looking so good. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat these. 
they're seriously gonna taste like candy i can just i can tell and there's so many oh my gosh i'm gonna pick them and i'm gonna show you all you guys i'm sorry i wish i could like film the picking of them but my <laughs> boyfriend's not here and i didn't bring a tripod so <laughs> You'll just see the end result. <laughs> this is wild. Look at all these peas. Oh my gosh, there's so many. And these purple ones. Oh, I'm so, so excited to try them. All of them, everything. So much exciting things. Goodbye, honeybees. Goodbye, garden. It's always so nice to visit. It's like so nice that my mom just like put a bench here. Maybe for some people it's weird, but hearing the buzzing is kind of therapeutic and it also smells like so strongly like honey out here. It's wild. I just love it. These are like pretty magical. I listen to a lot of podcasts and one of my favorites is um, Ologies by Allie Ward, where she like interviews people that know a lot about a specific subject. And there was one about bees that um, it's just like so cool, especially because my mom took all these courses on bees and like so did my dad. So like then getting it, being able to speak to them about um, stuff like within, with using their terms and whatever was like really, really cool. But yeah, so nice, so busy, busy bees. Bye bees. There's deer, you guys. I just saw another one, but it left. Oh, goodbye. Beautiful. Okay, so I thought I'd go on another kind of walk with you guys today. So it may be in more of like a meadowy area instead of the forest like last time. Oh, hi butterfly. Look at these flowers, they're so beautiful and purple. And the grass around here is so tall. Like, it's up to my chest kind of thing. Well, not my chest, I guess like my hips, um, which is cool. But look at this. It's so nice out here. Like seriously, so relaxing. And if I remember correctly, my mom like set up kind of a little bench area up here. Oh, and there's a birdhouse. It's always so nice. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, two birdhouses. I wonder if they're occupied, if they have inhabitants. Yeah, there's the bench, okay. This is just like a magical little spot to sit. It's like surrounded by wildflowers and just kind of like in this quiet little part of the forest. It's super, super meditative. And I just thought it would be cool to show you guys this nice little space. Um, and I guess now maybe we can do like a tour of the interior because I want to go on like a walk with you guys and talk about things that I like don't really know what I to talk about. Um, so maybe we'll save that for another time when I have more to chat about. Um, and in the meantime, I guess we can just like, I don't know, there's like some cool things inside that I figured maybe you guys would like to see because they're kind of neat. Here's the babies at the entrance. Hello. Hello, sweet eggs. <laughs> so sweet. Um, so starting with the front door, my dad uh, made these like stained glass windows and he also made these like really big cool doors. It's like a log cabin, he built it. Um, my mom always with her hearts is fun. Um, so when you enter, what's cool is that um, it's like poured concrete, 
but um, my dad painted, well my dad and my mom painted all these animal footprints of like um, animals that are local to our area and stuff, so that's super cool. And there's also um, little metallic like gears and things in the floor that are super fun. Hold on, let me take off my shoes. Um, so you can see these like little rings are just like copper gears and kind of recycled weird little, sorry, the shadow. And um, the prints have the animal, black bear, moose. Um, these are Canadian geese, I'm guessing. Um, White-tailed deer. Um, more little cool rings. And my dad likes to carve things out of wood as well. So this is like kind of a Santa with an owl that he made a long time ago. I really like him. And my mom likes to do like collage and decoupage and that kind of thing. So she put all these like old um, animal illustrations on the kind of front entrance. <laughs> this bear reminds me of tuna. <laughs> and my dad carved, uh, don't forget to take with you love, compassion, and gratitude <laughs> in the wall. This little deer. So that's kind of fun. And then um, the floor is also painted to look kind of cool. Um, so we've got these like tree roots kind of situation that like go up with these trees that my dad carved into, um, like different plants and stuff. I think they might be native plants around here. Yeah, we've got like thistle and like cattails, um, those like orange kind of lilies, more fun things. Um, my parents have a lot of witchy friends and this one, this like broom was like a gift from this like witchy <laughs> friend of my mom's. So that's always fun. But I really like the painted um, floor with the, with the tree roots. And there's also like painted um, river kind of going that my parents did and like the world. So the river kind of like goes into the kitchen and stuff. Or like I mean out the door. Like I was saying, my dad um, likes to do carvings and stuff, and one thing that he likes to do is like chickens. So the two wooden chickens are his, and also the fish. I don't know, my whole family's pretty artsy. My grandma did these like pressed flower plates um, that are kind of fun with like wildflowers. And um, my great, great, Grandma or great aunt would do these like wild paintings on um, fancy porcelain plates, whatever. So that's like one of her pieces that's like kind of cool. And um, like I was mentioning, my mom loves like heart shaped things. So here's a bunch of her like heart collection that like is in the window and it's super nice. And there's this cool little man that I gave to my dad um, <laughs> as a gift. Um, I got him on a road trip. He's like a a little carved friend from a branch that I thought was cool. This is one of my mo one of my favorite art pieces that my mom has. It's like this crow. <laughs> I think it's like a collage kind of situation and I love it so much. Sorry about the glare, but um, my older sibling painted this um, piece with like the masks and all the colors when he was in university. I think it's such a cool art piece. And then my dad um, made this fish that's underneath it, so like super cool. Yeah, I'm sorry about the glare, it like really sucks. But you can't see it in the dark. Um, my dad, as a surprise for my mom, like while she was away, made this like kind of bookshelf insert into the house. Um, but like because my mom wasn't there, she wasn't there to like check his spelling and he didn't ask me. So like he wrote, if you have a garden and a library, you have everything you need. But he spelled everything wrong with an I instead of a Y. Um, so it happens, but whatever. Um, this is a piece that um, one of their friends painted for them, I think. And um, you know how I mentioned the like bee temple that they were a part of? They like have a little commemorative book of it. I'll just show you some pieces of it. So it had all these like honeycomb pieces inside and it was basically like this giant dome. Um, and that's what it was looking like. And there it is at Burning Man, I think. And there are the giant bees that are now on my house. They like carved things into the um, interior so it would like light up. A bunch of people wrote messages on the wall um, of like things they wanted to let go of and stuff before it burned down. And here's the footage of, or not the footage, but here's the pictures of it burning. And I wasn't there, but I have gone to a couple of festivals with my parents. It's always a lot of fun. Um, 
but it's very cool. Um, I'm super lucky to have really fun, cool, festival-going, eco parents that like are into woodworking and cool things. Oh, and um, here, here is an art piece by me. <laughs> How fun, I, I made this for my mom. Can't glare. Here's an art piece for me. I made it for my mom, I'm sorry about the glare. But yeah, it's it's a moment. Um, my mom really likes birds. So here's like a cool bird art piece. But there's also more cool chicken art. And then there's a bunch of birds over here. Different birds of different materials. They're a lot of fun. The metallic bird is very cool in my opinion. And these are ones that I think my mom painted. Yeah. Here's another one of my dad's chickens that he made. I love this one. It's like flying. Okay, so in my opinion, the coolest part about my house is um, this that my parents um, painted onto the floor. It's a tree of like the seasons. So we have spring over here going into summer with the apples and the pears all the different fruits autumn's obviously my favorite tree it looks so so beautiful and then winter and i just think it's such a beautiful um, piece i think the original was by alphonse mucha but i'm not super sure he um, my parents originally had another really really beautiful piece by Alphonse Mucha that they had um, carved into the floor here. Then they like put wood over it and it was literally like the saddest thing um, ever in my opinion. Yeah. My mom did this thing with these curtains. Um, she does it like I think once a year, maybe twice a year, um, where basically she'll take like plants from around um, her walks and stuff and then um, take these curtains and put the planks on them and then hammer them in so they leave all their pigments down and their shape. She doesn't like cure them with alum that way um, when she washes the curtains a couple times it washes out and she can do like a new pattern uh, but I just think it's like such a cool project. I remember I was at the workshop with my dad um, when we learned to do this and now it's like one of my mom's things that she really loves to do and she makes such beautiful pieces. I. I really like them. <laughs> I'll maybe post a tutorial underneath, like a link to one, if you guys want to see more information about that. One of my mom's favorite things to do is like um, recycle or upcycle like furniture by like um, adding, you know, images and stuff to it. So this is like a cool one. Cool little desk thing. I don't know. It's really fun. Um, my parents have made a lot of cool furniture together. Oh yeah, she also did the tissue box, obviously. Um, but. Yeah, and my old room is super messy and in the process of being packed up right now and like sorting through stuff. Um, but I do have like room tours that I've posted before so I'll totally link those. But I'm like so excited to have this stuff in my new place and just be able to like have all my cool stuff with me again. Like I mean I obviously have like cool stuff at like the place that I live with my boyfriend now but like Ah, so many more posters to put up, so many more cool little, like, dragons. I can finally bring my dragons with me. I didn't have space for these guys when I was at my boyfriend's old place. But I'm also really happy because I filmed, like, room tours here, so I feel, like, not as guilty um, taking my room apart a little bit because it's kind of, like, slowly been losing pieces over um, the last little while. Um, but it's just, like... Uh, I can't wait to have all my stuff with me again. Like there's just like so much fun art and like fun puzzles that I've done and like just articles that I miss looking at. And I just, ugh, I can't wait. I can't wait you guys. It's so exciting. Ah! I think though that this is probably it for me um, today. I hope you guys enjoyed this like little mini toury thing of my parents' place and the house that I kind of grew up in. I, I think my dad built it when I was like 12, so. Um, turning three now, so I was here for like quite a while, but um, yeah, I miss it a lot. It's like a super super cool place and I miss obviously the garden and the kitties, so it's always nice to come down here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed being here with me as much as I enjoyed being here with you. There's a spider friend. Hello spider friend. Please don't go into my shoe spider friend.
Primus. Bye, honey buns. I'll see you tomorrow. Be good. I love you. I'll bring you more snacks and treats tomorrow, okay? I promise. <laughs> sweeties. Sweet sweeties. Oh my goodness. It's so hard to leave them every time. They're so sweet. I can't handle it. It's another day and another time that I'm here and I wasn't thinking of filming today, but um, the geese are here. So um, let's check out the geese because how exciting. Oh my gosh, the sun's so bright. Look at them. There's like multiple families. Cage and I were thinking of taking the canoe out, so that'll be super, super fun. Aww. These guys are like, these guys are like all grown up. They were so small last time I saw them. And now they're like fully grown. Oh my gosh, they went into the lake. Oh my gosh. Honeys. How delightful. So happy I get to see them again. Hi guys. The last time I was at the mushroom patch, um, you guys remember it was like kind of this situation. That was two days ago. Okay, two days later. Look, this is ridiculous. They grow so fast. Um, I did text my mom about them, and she said they're totally um, ready, like these kind of guys were. Um, so just to pick them and eat them. But like, this is wild, you guys. How intense! It's like a little enchanted forest down there. Super cool. Ah, love it. Here's the wine cap harvest. It, there's like so many, you guys. Cage is super impressed. He was very excited about it. <laughs> but yeah. This, I think, was our craziest garden haul yet. Um, probably because I brought Cage with me and he picked out a bunch of kale and um, this giant lettuce guy. But like, oh my God, we got the mushrooms down there. Sorry, Cage is eating peas in the background, if you can hear the <laughs> snapping. Um, and we got like our little tomatoes, carrots. I got some chives this time, I finally remembered. Um, still gonna get some mint tea probably from the garden, but like, ah, oh, and all the peas, delightful peas, delightful tomatoes. Oh, this is gonna make such good food. Oh, and the asparagus, where'd the asparagus go? Mm -hmm. Oh, we got another one. Love it, he's so tall, look at that, crazy. All right. We got them some more toys. <laughs> These ones are heart shaped. I couldn't resist. They were from the Meow thrift store. Um, Braveheart loves them. There's little catnip hearts. <laughs> what a happy man. Okay, so, um, Cage and I found the paddles and we're down here again, like the canoe paddles. Um, so we're gonna go finally for our canoe that we didn't get to go for last time. And I'm so, so excited. It's gonna be super cute. So, um, let's go. Okay, <laughs> Cage is, Cage is pushing the canoe in. Oh my gosh. Okay, jump in. You have to jump in. Jump in now? <laughs> yeah. Oh <God. laughs> You got it? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Hold it with both your hands, baby. It's so scary. My fun? <laughs> Here, give me both. Oh, no. Actually, it's fine. Whoa. Baby, hey, you're crazy with your phone. You're going to drop it. Yay. Oh, not yet. Yay. Oh, okay. We did it. We're on the... Whoa. Whoa. You're turning it over. I'm on my seat. <laughs> You're headed towards the rocks. It's so peaceful. Oh, it's so green. You can see all the like plant life underneath. And there's these like huge dragonflies. And like cattail growing. Ooh, dragonflies. The flowers are so purple, and the sun is so bright on the water. Oh my gosh, dragonflies. Oh, look at the tiny white flowers. 
circles are so pretty. And there's this algae that seriously looks like lime green. It's so cool out here. bunch of leeches on my stick. Ew. Crazy. Damn, they hold on really well. They got little suckers. <laughs> Still? It's called a paddle, not a stick. Huh? It's called a paddle. What did I say? <laughs> There's leeches on my stick. <laughs> Dragging like a massive piece of algae <laughs> on the boat, on the canoe. It's huge. There's like snails in it and stuff. Sorry if this is super gross. I think it's really cool. Yeah, it's all, all the like fibers and stuff. Yeah, it's like all spun up. Dude, when I was a kid, I used to like I had a pixie cut, and I didn't like it for like. And I would <laughs> lie down in the stream and like get all the algae to like run down like all over around my head and my body. I would pretend it was like long mermaid hair, but it was just like <laughs> nasty algae. It's like a little swamp. Hair <laughs> hair with, like, moss in your hair. Well, no, just like lying down in it. I wouldn't like get up with it. Oh, I see. But <laughs> okay. this one's like coming home with us. Even just the way it moves too. Alive. He thought it was a fish. It was big and it was like, it's looks like the tail, like it's moving. Yeah, no, that's fair. Tail, kind of. It does, yeah. It's coming. It's here. Goose feather. friends it's another day at my parents house probably the last day i'll film i don't know how many times i've said that but like it just keeps <laughs> i don't know i keep going down here being like i'm not gonna film today and then i end up doing it um so hey hope everyone's day is going good i already had an amazing start to my day because i've already cuddled with angel and um collected some stuff from the garden
Got some mint and got some tomatoes so far and got our perfect girl right there. Hi. Um, I'll insert some footage of us cuddling because it was the best. And um, now I'm off to the garden. So see you guys in a moment. Got a ton of peas. Oh my God. But the thing I'm so excited about is carrots. Look at this one. This is ridiculous. This is so large. Actually, a lot of these are pretty good. And there's some like really cool round ones. I'm really excited to wash them up and eat them in a stir fryer with hummus or something. Ugh, how exciting. The cucumbers are starting to come up. It's these guys. Oh, there's butterflies in here. Hi. This is like the third one that's flown out of the greenhouse. Oh my gosh. But yeah, look at these tiny guys. How fun. Little cucumbers. Beautiful butterfly. Here's the veggie haul we ended up with. All the beautiful, huge carrots, some really massive zucchini, that's super exciting. Peas, tomatoes, and big bunches of lettuce, and also some mint that I, as usual, will make into very delicious tea. So I'm gonna go get scrubbing. I'm here with the beautiful man today as well. Hi, Mr. B. I love that he loves his little catnip heart. He's such a sweet boy. Hi. Hello. How's your days been? Hey, gorgeous. So, um, I've been pretty good recently. I remember that I mentioned, like, kind of a scary phone call that I had recently, and um, now that things have gotten cleared up a little bit, I figured that maybe I could talk about that and what went on and whatever. So, uh, basically what happened was that um, our sweet cat, Lemon, um, she's very young, but she has, like, quite a lot of health issues and like so does her brother so we think that like a lot of them are genetic like she's arthritic and she was losing a lot of weight recently so um, we took her to the vet and they were worried that she had um, kidney failure which would have been really really bad because um, it's not reversible and though like I cried about it a lot and like did a lot of research and figured out that like it's not reversible but you can live with it and cats can still have like a, a good life with it like I I was still really worried about it obviously so we had to take her in for an ultrasound and get her all checked out and stuff and basically it turns out that she probably doesn't have kidney disease and is probably just uh, pancreatitis which is not great obviously but at least it's manageable and curable and um, it doesn't it's not like this like life sentence kind of issue and whatever so we've got her on her special diet now we've got her on her meds um, we have to check again in two months to make sure that like everything's okay with her but 
figured I'd like send a little update about that because I was freaking out for quite a while there and everything just felt so scary because it felt like everything was going really really good in my life and um, I was like for a long time like ever since I've been dating Cage and like graduated university and stuff and like been working at a job that I like I'm like I've always been kind of waiting for the the bottom to drop out from under me if you know what I mean like I was always waiting for like what's the bad thing that's gonna happen um, and like obviously COVID for a lot of people with some of that but because I lived with my boyfriend I'd like get an unemployment from the government and stuff so like I was fine but um, I was always scared that like what, what's the thing that's gonna like come out and and be like really bad and the only things that I could really imagine like super hurting me and being like unrecovered or like really intense were something happening to Cage, something happening to Tuna, or something happening to Lemon and when we found out that like Lemon might have kidney disease even though like now it turns out she probably doesn't it I don't know it was a lot and I'm just really really thankful that she's hopefully okay we've been keeping a really close eye on her like feeding her lots of her good food and she's putting on a lot of weight again and I'm really really proud of her so that's really good um but yeah I was just ah I was so nervous and worried and scared and just like every time I saw her I just like wanted to cry and stuff and it was a lot so yeah sorry for like dumping all of that um I'll probably put like a trigger warning ahead of this story or something um but yeah, that was really intense, but it's fine now, so that's why I feel okay sharing it, because um, it feels like I'm not, like, um, jinxing it in a weird way or whatever. Um, yeah, but if you want to send, um, like, love to Lemon or, like, prayers or whatever you do, um, I, I would appreciate that still, and I'm sure she would too. Um, I just... Oh, she's the best girl in the world and the idea of her being like in pain or having like health issues just like breaks my heart and we just wanted to do everything we could to help her um, so hopefully this this is the best course of action but um, yeah I've been trying to do my own research online as well and I found like a lot of really um, great blogs um, so I don't know if you also have an animal that's struggling with illness um, my heart goes out to you and I'm really sorry and it's really hard um, or a person in your life, or if you yourself are struggling with chronic illness, I, I, my heart goes out to you, and I'm sorry that you're dealing with that. It's, it's unfair. That was kind of heavy. I'm sorry about that. Um, in other news, the good things that are happening <laughs> in my life is a lot of stuff. Um, I've been working a lot more shifts at my job, like four or five times a week, which is cool. I get to, like, get a lot of cats adopted out, so that's always really, really nice. Um, I met one of you guys in person um, at my job recently and that was like super cool so like Ken if you're watching like you're super cool and it was super nice to hang out and um, yeah I don't know <laughs> but um, yeah that was wild super crazy anyway um, and and yeah we're moving at the end of the month so Cage and I have just been like packing up our place and we're so excited like literally I can't stop thinking about it like we're so excited to, to like paint the walls and redecorate and like I'm, I'm just like looking so much forward to Halloween and like I um I've been watching a lot of like Halloween hunting people and um I really like Jade the Libra and she like does these Halloween hunting videos and stuff right um but I found a bunch of different like similar people who do similar content in the like Halloween hunting genre which has been really nice but what's like kind of unfortunate is that a lot of them are in the United States and a lot of the United States gets stuff earlier than we do in Canada and stuff but on the upside I found a Facebook group that's like Canada specific for Halloween hunting so I've just been like really into that lately but yeah that's like super fun um just like Halloween hunting and the idea of it I like have been trying to go out but like lately haven't really been finding stuff. Cage and I found like these little ghost garlands at one point so that was cool and then we found these little ghosts that like wrap around candles. Hi! Uh, we found these little like ghosts that wrap around candles um, but those are from the thrift store so it wasn't like official like Halloween hunting because you know I mean it was because like we found it but like it wasn't um, like we didn't find any like Halloween stores or like 
stores that had like a ton of Halloween stuff out yet. Uh, but I hope to do that soon. Um, that would be really, really cool. I think what I just need to do is like keep calling um, and asking about it because like just driving there and being like, oh, they have like one pumpkin or like they only have like harvest stuff or they like have Canada Day stuff out still, like, come on, um, I don't know, I, I just, oh, Halloween's my favorite holiday, I'm so excited for it, I'm going as Lydia Dietz this year, um, and I really, I can't wait, it's gonna be so, so fun, because I've wanted to do Lydia Dietz for a really long time, um, but I haven't before, so that'll be really fun, and I'm so excited to, like, decorate, um, like, properly in our new place like that literally brings so much joy to my heart when I think about it like just getting to like put up Cage and I's own stuff and like because because obviously I did that last year but like in this place there's like so much more space and like we can like I I have this idea I don't know we have like this big um like wooden kind of structure that has a mirror in the back of it right now and like right now it holds a bunch of my like custom dolls and a bunch of my like monster high dolls are sitting on top uh but i was we were thinking of like putting it use it as like kind of like a mantelpiece um when for like halloween kind of decorations and stuff like that so i think it'll be like super super fun i'm really really excited honestly just like Oh, moving in. I can't wait. I like want it to be the end of the month so it can be like closer to Halloween and closer to moving in. And I was like talking to Cage about it last night. Um, and we were just like, ah, like it's so hard to live in the moment when you're like excited about stuff in the future. So I just feel really, really lucky about everything that's going on. I'm sorry about all the airplanes or helicopters, whatever. I hope it's not super loud. Um, but I just feel super lucky and super privileged in like all these aspects of my life right now and I'm like so thankful that Lemon's gonna be okay and I'm so excited to move and uh, my parents are coming back soon um, from their little kind of camping trip situation um, so they're gonna be looking after the kitties again uh, but I can still visit whenever I want I was just like really nervous about visiting with like COVID and I keep noticing that I am using that in past tense but I don't mean to say it in past tense. I don't know why I'm doing that. Like, it, COVID is still going on 100%. Like, wear your mask, get a vaccine. But like, even with that, the variants are really intense. So like, please stay safe out there. And um, I'm like doing my, my best to keep all precautions. But like, with, with the Delta variant and stuff, it's like, not even that is gonna be um, enough, it feels like. So I have been having quite a bit of health anxiety, especially since I work um, in a retail, Retail. I work in like a very like customer service oriented place. Um, if you guys watch my channel, you might know that I work at a cat cafe, which is great. But there's like a lot of families that come in, and a lot of like little kids, and like a lot of them don't wear masks, and a lot of them like touch things with their sticky hands and cough on things, and it just like makes me really really anxious. And um, it's also frustrating to be like in the cat room with people with no masks on and stuff because you can't you can't sanitize cats the same way that you like sanitize surfaces. And that kind of thing um but yeah and also i am getting a gap in my tooth <laughs> from my retainer so i have to go get it checked out Ugh, it's like there i haven't gotten my retainer checked in like two years and i've worn it since eighth grade because i had a retainer or a braces from second to eighth grade so that's fun um but yeah now i need to get this looked at i'm going soon but yeah i've just been also nervous about going to the dentist and that's why i haven't gone for two years to the orthodontist or whatever because uh covid <laughs> and uh, anxiety around like needing a, like doing a procedure where you need to have your mask off same with like um my freckle tattoos are like fading um quite a bit and i would really like to get them freshened up so that's another thing that i'm like nervous about doing because it's hard to like keep a mask on or maybe i, I don't know but then it's still like over under your nose anyway um yeah just figured I'd give you guys a little life update of what's going on with me. Basically, it's all, like, pretty cool stuff. I'm really excited for the fall to come. I'm just, like, fall is when I feel my best. Like, when there's, like, the leaves and the weather's, like, perfect and crisp. Um, obviously, it's, like, nice like it is now. Like, it feels very summery. And but I am looking forward to autumn. That is when I feel my best. So I'm really looking forward to that. Hi, beautiful girl. And I'm looking forward to two months from now finding more out about Lemon because with the pancreatitis that's what they think made her kidneys look, look inflamed which is why they thought she had kidney disease in the first place. So we'll see what happens there. Keiju's doing good, he's been tattooing tons. 
um, just like super busy with his job as always and just like doing so much cool work. I like want to get another tattoo from him soon, um, but I'm not sure of what. It's like so hard to get tattoos when you are bad at doing choices. The only thing that I can for sure think of that I would want as another tattoo that I can like confidently say that I want um, soon or that I like would consider getting and I like don't think I would regret at all is um, a portrait of Lemon and or Tuna but Cage doesn't really do pet portraiture but he keeps like showing me on Instagram like all his like tattoo artist friends that do and he's like look at her like she does really nice work and look at them and like what do you think about this guy and like whatever whatever and I'm like ah like because I'm so nervous of getting tattooed by anyone other than him because I'm a wimp I have very low <laughs> pain tolerance and I'm probably a pain to tattoo and I feel bad um, <laughs> for people that tattoo me and like Cage obviously like he he says he feels really anxious about tattooing people that he's close to like it's like ah friends from like high school or whatever like it's whatever but like you and like my mom and like that, those kind of people like it's very anxiety inducing because it's like this is the person you're really close to and it's gonna be on their body forever but I think it's so cool and I love like both of my tattoos that I got from him already like if it's a jackalope and a periton. Um, but yeah, he's just like a really cool, talented artist and I would love more work from him. But um, probably pet portrait by someone else, but I just need to get the guts up to do that. So yeah, do you guys have tattoos that you wanna get? Uh, please tell me about them in the comments. I, I would love to, to know about that. And also, do you guys have like childhood pets? or like pets that you love, because I love to hear about those. Feel free to leave that stuff in the comments. I I feel like I've been bad at replying to stuff lately, but just reading stuff from you guys like really makes me happy and it, it's wild to me that there's a lot of, like someone, at, like my coworker recently was like, oh, your video got recommended to me on YouTube. And I was like, oh, and they were like, yeah, you have like a lot of subscribers and I was like, oh, but like, I, and I feel like I don't, but it's like I do, but like I don't, eh. it's like a whole weird thing, but it feels really cool that y'all are all here and I, I know that for like a lot of people, like 35k or whatever it is right now doesn't feel big, but for me that feels huge, like that feels like, like I get anxious if I start thinking about it too much, um, but I really appreciate that so many of you guys are interested in, um, listening to me and hanging out with me and I really appreciate when you um, tell me things and write me things and, and I do read everything even if I don't always get a chance to reply, I'm sorry about that. Um, it just kind of depends if I'm like at a break at work I might reply or like if I'm, oh look my phone, whatever. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much and now I've rambled for like 20 minutes it feels like and that's probably boring. <laughs> so I really appreciate you guys for tuning in with me today. I hope that you are having a really nice day or night wherever you are. I hope that you're being kind to yourself and um, treating yourself with a lot of sweetness and tenderness and gentleness because you deserve it. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> um, I hope that um, the rest of your week is really nice and I'm sending you a really, really big hug. Um, okay, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you again so much for watching, especially to the end. That means so much. Okay, bye guys. I was driving out and there's a wasp nest. Or bee's nest? No, wasp nest probably. But really cool. I remember when I was a kid in the barn there would always be wasp nests and um, when they were like dead they were so cool to like have dried out as decorations. So like cool little nostalgia trip. Sorry, it's like super backlit so you probably can't see it very well. But it's definitely there. Here, let me see. It's there. Very neat. <laughs>